Larry Walker there. And if you're wondering, hey, was he wearing a SpongeBob square pants shirt? Yes, he was. And that very shirt now has become so popular that is now on display here at the uh, Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum in Cooperstown. And joining us right now, class of 2020, still <laughs> waiting to get in, but uh, his time will come in 2021. We're pleased to have with us Hall of Famer Larry Walker. Larry, we're live in Cooperstown now. It's great to have you on the program. Thank you so much. Oh, you bet. You're welcome. Great to see that video brought back uh, quite a memory. Yeah, year 10 as well. I want to talk about that, but first, the shirt. So you, what, <laughs> they, did they ask for the shirt, or how did the shirt get here enshrined in Cooperstown? <laughs> well, Jane came down to the house in, in Florida there, and, and uh, we had a little meeting, and she asked if I would be willing to give her that. And I said, absolutely, take it away. So uh, I guess it's got its own little spot <laughs> now uh, in Cooperstown. So SpongeBob is thrilled. Excellent, excellent. Larry, um, you were here, I see, we're in the plaque gallery right now, and over to the side, a little out of camera shot, is where your plaque will be. It has not gone up as of yet, but you did sign where it was going to be. So you were here for your orientation before the shutdown, correct? Correct. Uh, I stopped in, I think, just before Ted got into town in mid-February, I believe. Okay. What was that like to, to come through here? Again, you know, getting in preparation, what was it like to go through here and see that you were going to be taking your place with these all-time greats? Well, you know, I had the honor a couple of years before that during uh, St. Louis Cardinals fantasy camp in Cooperstown. Uh, I, I got to take the tour through and go down beneath and, and see some of the artifacts down below and put the white gloves on and do that. Um, and then doing it uh, in the situation that happened last year, same type of scenario, except there was cameras following me any, everywhere. And at the end of the trail, there was a, a spot for me to sign on the wall where my plaque was going. So two similar trips with, with uh, different endings. Did you walk around the plaque gallery too? Because even as we're here now, Larry, you know, I'm walking around and uh, looking at all the all-time greats. Even behind me, it is Hank Aaron, Al Kaline uh, right there. Did you walk around and start to think about where you were landing? Oh, I was thinking about it before I even got into the Hall of Fame and, and started that tour that day. You know, the, the nerves and thrills and the honor, uh, all the great words that go along with, you know, having this opportunity to have my plaque on that wall were, were all going through my head. And uh, I could have spent hours there reading everybody's plaque. Uh, but like I say, time constrictions and cameras follow me. I tried to stay within myself. What was your reaction then, Larry? At some point, they must have told you, OK, with everything happening, we can't get 50,000 people, you know, out here in Cooperstown in July. Um, what, what, what were your thoughts at that point that, all right, we're going to have to push this back another year? Yeah, not a problem at all. Um, I, like they say, I guess our displays are staying up a little bit longer. We get an extra half year out of it. So uh, that, that's a thrill. But, uh, you know, with the circumstances, the way they were, uh, the way you know, just the sadness that was involved with this pandemic and everything, it was obviously the right decision as many things have got canceled. So uh, we're, we're going to see what happens this July. I believe it's going to happen one way or the other, whether it's going to be live or we're doing what we're doing right now. Well, yeah, you're just uh, the wedding will happen. You're just you're still engaged uh, to the Hall of Fame <laughs> and, and it will be happening for you. Larry, I'm just wondering, I'm, we're looking over and again, the official announcement for is going to be happening tomorrow for the next class. If anybody gets in at one point, you were uh, you know, way down uh, on the vote, like your percentages was down by about 10 percent. Um, were you thinking that there would be a reevaluation of your career that you would get into the Hall of Fame? Or did you think, well, it appears that this isn't happening? Well, I think I'll probably say the latter, and that might explain why I had a SpongeBob shirt on, perhaps, and thinking, well, gosh, I, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I was at 10 percent. How am I going to get to 75? So uh, I guess the baseball analytic part of it and uh, uh, the online people, the Twitter people, all those that uh, were, were, were backing me and many other people that were involved, uh, I, I guess, uh, worked. And, and, and the writers saw uh, something good of all that and, and gave me that honor. Well, yeah, Larry, look, a 400 career on base, uh, 72 wins above replacement in your career. These, these are the new magic numbers, and that's what you have. And, uh, Larry, again, congratulations to you, and thank you for being part of the show here. We haven't been uh, here at the Hall of Fame doing a program, and it was really it meant a lot to us to have you on the program. Thank you so much for your time, and we'll see you in the summer. Uh, you bet. I'm uh, excited to see what happens tomorrow, see if uh, anyone from the class of 2021 makes it. It's going to be a fun day.